what's up? So I have to give it to the D-O-double-G Snoop Dogg when he came on Charmaine the God and said that Eminem is not a top 10 rapper. Well, for me, that's a dub. For some others, it's a different story. M came along during the last great era when you bought CDs and first week sales were like movie blockbusters. And he could spit, he had a good cadence, and he was funny and witty and had his moments. But I always thought of him as trailer park trash version of Tupac. That's how I always thought of him. And I thought if he was black, he'd probably be considered one of the best going in the game, but he wouldn't get half the love and attention he gets. And it's because he's white, and he worked with Dr. Dre. They had the money, the budget on him. I mean, he ain't do nothing special, you know. And it ain't just a hood, you know. It's a He's a burb hero. In the hood, he got some some love, but he wasn't blown up. And in between, yeah, the kid could spit. But no one is sitting around there jocking him like he's like seen as some great. Not if you grew up on the likes of a LL Cool J or a KRS-One or Chuck D or Ice Cube. Peak and Prime guys or Rakim, Big Daddy Kane, you know. Andre Three Stacks. Obviously Biggie Pac, Nas. You know, I can roll names out. That's not hard. Oh, I can roll them out. He ain't seeing those guys in the peak. He's not even seeing Snoop for my money. Because Snoop always kept a hit. Snoop came out. And Snoop and Dre were meant to be the main one-two punch. It's just that the money was on the black cop, white cop. See, that's how the industry works. I seen all the people when M got his Oscar for his broke purple rain at 8 Mile. And they blew that up. You know. And like I said before. That's what they wanted. They got what they wanted. He picks on a lot of pop acts and his subject matter and so on and so forth. He had a stick that worked. It got him over. You know. And that was big on his productions. But it spit. And he could definitely wordplay, battle rap, you know, to an extent. But after a while, you know, he gets gimmicky and he gets, you know, predictable. But that's what he had the market. He had the complexion for the succession to get over and flex. So remember, complexion for the succession to get over to flex. That's how they pushed him. But has he seen anybody who, in the last 20, 30 years, that was legit? No. No, no, no. You know, but he filled a void. You know, that's what they wanted. But Snoop is right. When Snoop is right, he's right. I don't agree with a lot on Snoop, but he nailed it, hundred on this one. I never been big on him. I always thought he was slightly better than average. You know, his cadence, like I said, once you get to the humor and the bits and stuff, but his routine gets old after a while. But M got over. And he had Dr. Dre and Jimmy Iovine and Interscope and all that. So the, when you got the money behind you and you got the complexion behind you, they'll blow you up. You know, they'll blow a, they'll blow a, a regular ballpark hot dog into a foot long. And when you're white... You know what's up. I ain't saying nothing that no one's going to be shocked of. Because a lot of folks feel like that. Even some white ones. I ain't believing the hype. He good, but he ain't great. You know, and I agree with Lord Jamar. He's a guest in the house of hip-hop. I ain't feeling him like that. That's the truth. Ain't no hate. Just look at the look at the reality. All right, that's my thoughts and takes about Snoop Dogg saying Eminem ain't a top 10 rapper ever. And I agree. Give me your thoughts and your take. Give me your top 10. Off to spit them off. Who you got? Hit that like and subscribe and the bell ring new video. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch out for another. And like I said, they always trying to push a great white one by any means unnecessary. I'm out.